D.C. police announcing the arrest and the shooting of Commanders player Brian Robinson. Fox 5's Katie Barlow has a latest on that. Hi, Katie. Hi, Marina. On August 28th, Commander's rookie running back Brian Robinson was here on 8th Street Northeast, right next to the 10th Street Crossway, and he was shot in the leg as part of an attempted robbery. Well, today, Chief of Police Robert Conti announced they have arrested a 17-year-old in connection with that shooting. Now, the suspect is a 17-year-old juvenile, but was 16 at the time of the shooting. He's been charged with assault with intent to rob while armed with a gun. Chief Conti would not confirm whether this individual is believed to be the suspect who pulled the trigger on robbery. Robinson. Robinson, a third round draft pick from the University of Alabama, recovered from knee injuries sustained during the shooting. After undergoing surgery, he debuted for the commanders against the Tennessee Titans October 9th. So let me let me tell you about the strategy. And we're at and, and this is something that we've been talking about recently. We're making headway. We're making headway when we start to see reductions in homicide, which is what we have now. When we're seeing reductions in our violent crime, when we're seeing reductions in overall crime in our city. That's great that we're seeing reductions. The problem is people don't feel safe. And when you talk about two people who have a dispute and somebody decides that because they have a gun, they want to use it, I'm not sure what strategy necessarily rectifies senseless acts of violence and behavior like that, right? I don't know, I don't know of a trick in the country uh, that any police department is using that handles something like that. But I'll tell you what I believe works. I believe accountability works. I believe that people who do that, when they're not in community, they can't do those types of crimes. So our focus has to be on making sure that those people are not in our communities, committing those types of crimes, making our communities feel less safe. Chief Conti also said the police are still working on this case. In fact, there is an additional suspect out there who they are asking the community to provide information. Chief Conti emphasized that part of their arrest today came from information from the community. They're calling on the community for more information, again, related to the individual you see on your screen captured on that video. Reach out to the police department if you know who that is or if you have any additional details. Back to you guys.